Hi there, I'm Ed Hicks, and this is a YouTube tutorial video for the tune Buffalo Girls. Let's hear the tune. So this is a great, fun, quite accessible tune you can learn to play on your banjo, but just because it's like accessible and not massively technical doesn't mean there's not loads to be learned in it for everyone, because in many ways music is about doing simple things nicely. Um, you know, the devil's in the detail or whatever they say. So if you can get a simple thing to sound really nice on music, you can learn a lot, you know, maybe more than um, hiding behind complexity and trying to do complicated tunes. So have a look at this video and see if you can make it sound really, really good and nice. And also it doesn't have to be fast to sound nice. If you're in time and in tune, it'll still sound nice at a medium or slow speed. This tune starts out with these notes, which is just going across the strings of the banjo, going four and three and two and one. So this is a good opportunity because there's a temptation when you're doing claw hammer not to move your hand up and down whilst you play. But you need to move your hand up after going down so you're ready to go down again. People overlook the up. The down is important, but you've got to move up in between the downs. So when you're doing this, it'd be very easy to go. But please don't do that. I want each individual knock to be a strike downwards. So we go knock and knock and knock and knock try that and uh and uh and uh so one and two and three and four so tagged a bit on the end there very simple bit we just do the second fret of the first string that's a pull-off. If you haven't done pull-offs before, you can maybe check out some of my earlier videos, but a quick recap. The finger is on the string. We knock on the note. We use the left hand to pull down to make a second sound. We brush, and then we catch the thumb. Four parts, knock, pull, brush, thumb, knock, pull. In the spirit of looking at the right hand, when you're doing this, can you make sure that your right hand is going down, up, Let's try across the open strings first, then that. One, three, two, one, pull off. Again. Play it with me. Great. Next phrase. Play this note, then this note, then this note, and then this chord. So you play the open first string, first fret of the second string, second fret of the third string. Because we've played those melody notes, it would seem only polite to play a D7 chord in the space afterwards because the notes of the melody kind of dictate the chord in harmony. So we go. Then we come across here, I either do it with this finger sometimes, or I jump across with this finger to do the pull off. Let's try that D7, cross the strings of D7, and pull off the first string. Across D7, and pull off the first string. Let's put the first phrase in front, so we're going to go across the open strings from 4, 3, 2, 1. Four, three, two, one, pull off, second, 
seven and the pull off open strings do 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 da de ba do de da do de ba do open strings Open strings. Ending phrase. So, maybe that ending phrase took you by surprise because I haven't played it before. The ending phrase starts on the first string. We reach for the first fret of the second string and we do that pull off again. Then we reach for the second fret of the third string and then play the open third. By the way, I have said this in other videos, but just so everyone's on board, strings of instruments are numbered one, two, three, four, five. So this is your fifth string. They're kind of numbered the way that seems quite illogical to me, like as if someone else numbered them. If I was counting my strings, I'd count one, two, three, four, five. But it's from the other perspective. It's true on the guitar, it's true on the violin, the mandolin. So I might be a pain, but Try to get used to the fact that this is the first string, this is the second, this is the third, this is the fourth, and this is the fifth. Then you're on the same page as everyone else. The structure of this tune is once again, question, answer, question, answer, line A, line B, line A, line C. So line A is the open strings, line B is the D7 line. Then we play the open strings again, then we play line C. <laughs> feeling in a generous mood today why don't I give you the lines one piece at a time before we put the parts together because this is supposed to be a nice accessible video so I'm going to play first line and then you can either join in with me or better still hear it once and then copy it back I'll play it both times so here we go and open strings <laughs> So we put those all together and obviously each line only happens once and let's do the whole of the A part. Here we go open strings. Pull off. D7. Pull off. Open strings. Tune. So we're halfway through the video, which seems like an appropriate time for me to say, if you're enjoying this video and you like it, you can consider uh, sending me money so I can buy myself a coffee. 
you don't have to do you don't have to do anything at all you can like and subscribe i'm bored of talking about this let's get on and learn the second part of the video i made a buy me the coffee buy me the coffee page so if you want to buy me the coffee or a coffee um or just send me money so that i can uh, buy some paint to finish painting this door go for it man if not crack on let's learn the second part of the video so it's the second part of the tune the second part of the tune is cool because it starts up on the fifth fret often these tunes have like a high strain and a low strain um sandy boys which i made a tutorial video for as well on this channel similarly that's part that starts up high that's the first part sandy boys buffalo girls b part sounds like this anything about the structure of that B part the structure is the same as the A part line A line B line A line C question answer question answer um, similar also line C the ending phrase was exactly the same as the A part so you've already got that so actually we only need to learn one more line to have the tune because Buffalo Girls even simply any other ones the A part goes line A line B line A line C the B part has a new question phrase let's call that D it goes line D, then we play the B from the A part, then we do D, that's the same question phrase again, then the C from the A part. So actually, you don't have to think of it in these absurdly mathematical terms. You can just notice it's question and answer, but whichever way you start to do it, start to notice these forms will make things easier to remember. The idea is theory, structural stuff. Ultimately, it makes it less stuff to remember, not more. So don't freak out if, if like thinking A, B, A, C or D, B, D, C sounds like it's giving you PTSD about math lessons at school. You don't need to think of it in that way, but finding some way to sort of start to notice it's question, answer, question, answer, new question, same answer, new question, same answer, just will help you get it. So let's learn this new question phrase. It starts on the fifth fret, down to the fourth, down to the second down to the open. Now using my left hand, I quite like going ring finger, slide down one, ring finger again, then index. That's quite a nice way to do it, because I just do one position shift, and then I'm ready for that note there. You can go, if you like using your little finger, there's no reason not to do that. Sounds a bit minimal there, so what we want to do is sprinkle some thumb strings in between. So we're going to go, of single string double thumbing great opportunity again to check your hand is going down catch the fifth string up down up then we do the pull off try that again from the fifth fret open pull off once more D7 phrase, remember that? Cross D7. I'll give you that one more time just to catch it. The D7 phrase. Back up to five. I'm changing position in advance, getting ready for the fifth fret. Now we do our ending phrase. So the whole of the B part starts on the 5th fret. Plays D7. Pull off. That was a lot of pull off in this song. Back up to 5. Ending phrase. So that's the whole of the B part covered. I'm going to try and wind it up there because I think YouTube videos shouldn't be too long. We've hit 15 minutes already, but it's good to end up 
with playing the tune nice and slowly. So hopefully you found this video useful. Hopefully maybe 15 minutes ago you didn't know this tune and now you're beginning to start to learn it and you can play it with me. Take advantage of the fact that the video, replay the bits that are difficult, work on them, and then also just take this bit at the end, which I'm gonna play it through now really nice and slow, um, and just practice playing with me, loop that bit round. Um, like I say, if you did find this useful, please remember to subscribe and like, write a comment, it all helps. Um, you can even use that Buy Me A Coffee page. I might try and set some stuff up with that because um, I'm just a self-employed musician, so it all helps. Thanks so much. Start all oh, starting on the open strings. Remember the A part, straight across the open strings, bouncy, bouncy, up and down, hand down, up, down, up. Here we go, open strings. Wait, I forgot to say something. What I was gonna say is this double thumb. is something you can put in any, any time where there's kind of single, single notes like like if you're just playing that simple phrase and you want to make a variation you could catch the thumb after every note especially the first two maybe leave the last one blank gives you a nice sense of phrasing and it's kind of instant variations so we can do this on the a part of this which i showed you without the thumbs at the start you can go fourth thumb third thumb seven. try that again without missing the third string which is effectively a great exercise in can you catch a thumb after all four strings remember to keep it down up remember to be grabbing that fifth string with your thumb after the knock let's try the whole thing now i'll put in some double thumbs on both parts join in do as much as you want here we go open strings. D7. Open strings. Ending phrase. From the fourth string. So that is Buffalo Girls tutorial. Hope that's useful for you. Enjoy. Bye.